What's up guys? This is a video on how to put these IKEA five drawer Cullen wardrobes together. So they actually come in two boxes, box one and box two. The code number for them is 203.936.62. So when you actually get them, just open them up, lay them all out in front of you like I have in front of us. So I've opened all the bags up and I've split everything up and put them individually so they're ready to use. The only two tools we're going to need is the hammer and the Phillips screwdriver. And like I said, I've laid everything out in front of us here. So I've put the side pieces here. The top pieces up there. The back pieces are there and the drawer pieces are along there. So right guys, we're going to start putting it together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these plastic strips and we're going to slot them on the side pieces all the way along. So this is what they actually look like. And they've got little bits sticking out there and they line up to each of them holes as they go along and you just slot them in and tap them in. We'll grab a few of these and we're going to start from the top and work our way down. So like I said, they're just slotting there like that and you just push them down. Just work your way down. And finally the last two pieces. So right, once they're all in, the next step is to get these screws here, these little ones, and we need to screw them in. So what we're going to do is on each side, there is pre-drilled holes, we're going to screw them in there individually. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've got my screwdriver. So I'm just putting the screws in the place just to make it a bit easier.
just nip them up and tighten them up. Don't over tighten them once they're tight. So that's what you want to do as you work your way down. So I'll just put some more screws in. So right, we're going to screw these in as well. So right guys, that's uh, all them in. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab all these. And we're going to fit the big ones first. And um, I'm going to see if I can show you this. 
but if you can see on the camera there is an arrow on it it's pointing towards my right right over here and you have to have them pointed in certain directions so you can lock it into place afterwards so I'll show you that now so here we're going to start off with the side pieces so we're going to fit them in just make sure they're pointing at the top if not use your screwdriver and you can turn it and make sure it's facing upwards so we'll slot them in upwards on both sides they don't have to be perfectly straight up but more or less so right the next pieces are the side pieces to fit these side pieces you want them facing outwards like so so these are the actual back pieces to the cupboard put these two in two left so one goes in here facing outwards and the same with this one Next we're going to grab the smaller version of them So these here And we're going to fit these in now So these fit in the uh, Draw bits on the side So these need to be actually facing outwards towards the hole same thing again, make sure the arrow is pointing outwards. can be a bit awkward and get them in but just push them in last two Right, they're rolling now and ready. So right, the next thing we can fit. Take these plastic legs and uh, fit them underneath. Right, the next step what we're going to do is we're going to screw all these in. So right, that's what we're going to do now. We'll start from the top and work our way down. Just bear with me, I'm going to make sure everything's in view so you can see what I'm doing. So right, we're going to start off with these and we're going to fit these. So fit these in the top piece into the smaller hole. Actually, 
actually what we're going to do as well while we're here to save a bit of time we'll get the wooden doilies as well we'll put them here some here and we'll leave some there so at the same time what we're going to do we're going to fit these as well at the same time so that's what we're going to do we're going to fit the screw thing in first So this is the actual screw for the locking thing, so it locks into this thing over here. Next we're going to put the wooden doily thing in it. Get me hammer. And then we're going to do that on the other side as well. Just thinking now while we're here we might as well fit our bracket as well because this is the actual top piece of the uh, drawers so I might as well do that now while we've got all the bits and pieces so this bag here I'll just get it down here bag open so you get two L brackets two wall plugs should have four washers two little screws and two big screws So this is what you get in the packet. So you get two L brackets, which will fit up here. And they are adjustable depending on how far the wall is. So like I've got skirting boards there, you can push it back and forwards to adjust it and have it fitted. So we're gonna use two washers for that. And uh, two screws to fit that in. They've kindly given us an extra washer, that's nice of them. So these two will go with the two big ones and they'll go with the uh, plugs. So that's when you attach it to the wall after. So I'm going to put them on the floor there because we don't need them at the moment. And what we'll do is we'll screw these in now. So we can work our way along and then we don't need to come back up here again. Could have done with some, if you've got some knee pads, use some knee pads. It'll save your knees. Basically that'll just go on like that. Being awkward for me. So I'm not going to fully tighten that up. So I can adjust it afterwards. But I'm not going to leave it too loose either.
don't want it that loose. Right, there you go. That should be fine. Turn that one up a little bit. So right, next we'll work our way down. Get my phone out of the way. Right here what we need to do is we need to fit these wooden dollies in here. As we go along. So fit these into the side pieces like I am. Grab them. Just work my way down a bit. Right, next thing we're going to connect one of these on this side and one of these on this side. And one up here. And one up here. So that's what we're going to do now. Couple of more of these in here. So we'll put some more in here. And on the bottom you only put one at the very bottom, leave the other one. No, actually, let me think about that. No, put both of them in. No, only one of them in the bottom, sorry. So right, um, another one in here. Another one in here. And one in the bottom only. Two up here. And two in the bottom. Back to the screws. Need one over here. So that's the one there, one next to it there, two in the bottom, Next, we're going to grab these wooden doilies and we're going to grab them screw things and the screwdriver and uh, 
work our way along to this side. Right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to screw all these in first. So we're going to start. We're going to start from the top and work our way down. So we're going to connect one up here and one up here. Actually, once we've fitted that, what we're going to do is going to, we're going to fit one of these in here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put a wooden doily in there. And the same thing on the next one. So these are the actual drawer fronts. Just be careful with these, not to uh, push down sideways with the screws and damage the sides. So I basically just start screwing gently first and once it starts going in, just drive it in after that, it's fine. Right, we'll move these down here. So here on these ones we can fit some wooden doilies first and one over here as well that I nearly missed. And now we'll fit the screws. Then a couple of wooden doilies. Same here again. And just work your way down. So this is the same as the top piece. So eventually we will run out of bits to fit. damage that then these in here and that's everything in there and I've got one wooden doily left I don't think I've missed any but I'll leave it there so right guys the first step what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the drawers together first I think so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way for now. And I'm going to come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our screwdriver. I'll see if I can keep this in frame. So right, these are the for the little drawers, and uh, these are the runners for the 
bottom of the drawers to fit into. So what we want to do is we want to get this, line it up to the hole there and push it down. Get the next piece, do the same. So these are the two small pieces and I've got the other two small pieces here what I'm not going to put in yet, I'm going to put them in in a minute. I'm going to work me a little way down. The next three drawers are the bigger ones. So we're going to grab them. It just makes it easier to get to everything while we've got everything open. Still going to be awkward, but at least we can get one side in easily. Ooh, nearly wrong side then. So yeah, just make sure that the you're putting the right side on because you'll know because the grooves will match up with the line like so get your screwdriver and just turn this and it will lock it into place now once it's locked it won't come out same with the next one just work your way along. And you can see it'll nip it up and lock it into place. That's done. Right, we're gonna put the next pieces on now. I'll just grab that piece. So the groove's gonna go over here like that. And then we're going to lock it into place and work our way down instead of crawling in between it. Same thing there again. So right, that's all the sides in now. Next thing we need to do is slide the bottoms in. And these are the bottom of the drawers. And you simply just slide them in and I'll show you how to do that in a second. what we'll do is we'll work our way down and you just slide it in like so same with the next piece Just doing it with one hand because I've got my phone in my hand. Just making sure I'm getting everything in at the same time. I've put it down now so should be fine. Should be fine. Right. So right there we're all in. Next piece is what we're gonna need at the back pieces so we've got three far pieces and two thinner pieces according to the drawers 
So I'm just going to stick them there. What we're going to need now, we're running out of pieces, guys, is these plastic screw things, what we need to hammer in. Right. Let's be very careful when we do these. So right, we'll get the first drawer. This is the uh, fat drawer. It's a bigger drawer than the other one. So this is the big piece. And that just lines up in the groove there. Like so. And then what you need to do is get the plastic pieces and put them in there so you can drive them in. I've left my hammer over there. Right. Get the hammer and just tap them in. Once that's in, just turn it to the side the next two pieces in start with the bottom piece first because it's a bit more stronger there so that's one draw next one this is another big one just slide them in Right, while I'm here, I'm thinking we might as well attach the other bits to it. So right, I'm going to put that down here like that. And this time we're going to grab these bits here. I'm going to start attaching them instead of walking back and forwards. So these are supposed to help you load the drawers up a bit more. So this is what they look like. If you can see that, there's a slot on it like that. And what you're supposed to do is slot this bit under the drawer bit and just push it like so. One on the other side as well, and then just tighten them up. That's what we're going to do as we go along, so we don't have to come back to this bit. So that's one draw done. We'll bring this one back. Same thing again. We're going to slot that bit under there. Just to slot it in the middle somewhere. One there. I'm going to tighten these up.
number two well we'll get the next draw this is the last one of the uh, large drawers so I'll start on the small ones in a minute Couple of these pieces again, we'll slot them in. Two small drawers. Two of these in again. Finally, the last draw. two pieces of these That's the last draw. So right guys, we're running out of bits to put together now. So we're getting there. We just got them pieces left. Number 
which is not many. I've got a spare wooden bit. I don't think I've missed any. Nope. Right, let's put the drawers together, guys. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to put the uh, back, the back pieces on first. Or should we put the front pieces on first? Um, we'll put the back pieces on first. So we'll get these out of the way. Pull this across a bit. So we'll get one of the back pieces. So you can see from there which way it goes. So that goes that way around. So it connects like that. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to connect it into the locking thing. Same with the next piece. Don't ask me why it's not one piece. I don't know myself. I think it should have been one piece, but there must be a reason behind it. So right, once you've put all them in, you want to lock them into place. And the next piece, I would have had two me, I would have had one there and one there. So right, that's the back pieces on. Now we're going to start putting the front pieces on. So we're going to get these and you can see there's two holes down there on either side so this is going to be the top piece so we'll fit that there i'm looking for the cleaner side to fit it on so i'll fit it this way it's got a bit of a mark there i don't know if you can see that so i'm going to put that on the inside not on the outside so slot that in carefully into there. This one here goes into the locking one here. We'll do that in a minute. So get your next piece, inspect it, make sure it's clean side and then put it in. Same again, next piece. Make sure that's all right. This time we're going to fit this locking one here. So it goes in like that, so the locking one goes in there. So once you've put that in, get your screwdriver and tighten that while you can because it's easier to do it this way. And do the same thing as we work all the way down. The actual bottom piece will be the large one. So just slot them in carefully, push them down, don't put, rock them too much because if you rock them too much they can split and break so when you put the bottom piece on make sure the smaller hole I don't know if you can see that but make sure the smaller holes at the top and the larger holes at the bottom so again check the piece out Yep, I'll slot it into that way, like so. So right, next step, we need to put the other side on, on, to top, on the top of there very carefully. So right at this stage, I'm gonna put my phone down. I'm just gonna put it over here so I can still see it. So 
So right here we're going to pick this piece up and we're going to put it on the other side. Just remember all the locking ones go on, on the back side. So I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to line these up. So that's going to line up to that. So right guys, uh, the battery actually died so I had to replace the battery. So right, we're going to continue from this stage. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit the top on first, actually, before we fit the other side on. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get the screwdriver and we're going to fit that first. So this is going to go this way. Make sure the brackets are facing to the back because they're going to connect to the wall. The brackets are there for a reason, and I'll tell you that uh, reason why shortly. So basically what we want to do is line up the bottom, like so, and just tap them in. Once they're in, we want to lock them in place. I've not got far enough of them brackets. I'm going to lock that and I'm going to lock the bottom one as well. Um, next thing I'm going to do is unscrew these. No, I, think, I don't think the brackets will get in the way. No, I think they'll be fine. So, right, that's the top piece on. Finally, we're going to put the side piece on. And. Um, I'm going to put my phone down so I can do it carefully. Just when you put it together, it would be good if there was two of you. Make sure none of these split, meaning tilt downwards or inwards, or else they'll break, and same with the other ones. So just put them on top carefully. If you can, get another person. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to grab the back piece and as you can see these are the ones that go into the locking mechanism. So I'm going to bring that and we're going to fit them into the locking mechanisms. And put them on top like that. Next the side pieces we're gonna line them up just gonna get my screwdriver we're gonna actually loosen this a bit was it a good idea to put this on first all the way so we're gonna tap that back up and we're gonna fit these in first so line all these up first So, just get this out of the way for a minute, just tap these in, don't worry about that, that's the uh, locking mechanisms from the other side, we'll put them back in in a minute, so yep, yeah, tap, just tap them down. And same here. Next, lock these into place. Now we can put these back in. Don't ask me what these two holes are for, I'm not too sure. So 
So right now we can put the top piece back in. So the same thing again, just line them up to the locking mechanisms. Like so. And just tap them in. Let's come back out again. So lock, lock them in place afterwards. Just gonna put that back in. Right. Lock the bottom ones as well. So that's all locked into place now, that's solid. I've done all of them, just checking them. So right, that's the uh, top and the sides back on. The next step before we pick it up, what we will do is, we'll get these two screws on this Allen key. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one in the top of here. Just line that up. Just put the little iron key in there. And just start putting that in. I'm just putting my foot underneath the other one to stop it turning or anything. Not that it will turn, but... Just could have done with a little cover for that, but we didn't get one. Right, uh, next thing we're going to do is going to light down the other way and uh, put the other screw in. So gently put it down. Put the last screw in, line it up. So right guys, these are the only ones we've got left to fit and I'll uh, show you where they go in a minute. They're the locking screws for the drawers to stop them sliding out completely. So at this stage, it's totally been assembled. So I'm just gonna stand this up. So this is what it looks like now. So at this stage here, you want to place it wherever you want to place it. And then what you want to do is these brackets here. I'll see if I can get them in. So these brackets here on either side. You want to loosen the screws at the top push the bracket towards the wall and then you want to make a pencil line in the grooves on either side and then what you'll do is you'll move the cabinet uh, the drawer away from the wall and you will drill that and then you will fit them plugs into the wall and then you'll put this back against the wall 
push the L brackets towards the wall and then fit the screws and washers and, and screw them in into the wall and drive them in. Once you've attached both sides, then what you're going to do is you're going to finally tighten the screws on the top into place and that will lock it into place and uh, keep it against the wall. So that feature's there for a reason and it's there for just in case when you start pulling your drawers out and there's a lot of weight in your drawers, it's going to make it tip forward and it's going to fall on top of somebody or some kids us basically. So that's there to prevent that happening. So right, I'm going to put the drawers back in now and show you uh, how to put the drawers in and lock them into place. Because when I connect it to the wall, I'm going to leave the last two drawers so I can get my hand inside to place it where I need to. So simply get the big drawers. For a second, um, where did I put my screwdriver? There it is. So here we're going to use the flat screwdriver. Simply what you're going to do is, we're going to put the drawer in, slide it in, slide it out, and they're going to fit in these holes. What you do is, just tighten them up. So now that's locked into place and the drop will not come out at all. So we'll do the next one. to tighten them up too much just want to get them into place so they go back Like I said, you don't need to over tighten it. If you do over tighten it, you're just going to damage the thread on it, the groove on it to drive it. So that's the next draw. Just get the little ones in. I might put them in place and then take them back out afterwards.
it's a good sign when you start running out of things and uh, you haven't got loads of bits left over. So I'm just going to make sure I'm getting this in picture. And finally the the last draw. So right guys, there you go, it's completed, that's what it looks like, it's a beauty. <laughs> so right guys, that's how you put together the 5 drawer columns IKEA 5 drawer wardrobe. If you want to see any other ones, I have done some on my channel, I've done the Alex ones. And I will be doing the other ones as well, which are the Mullen ones. So right guys, that's what it looks like at the back. And like I said, you just want to move the brackets to the back, won't have it fitted to the wall, definitely 100%. It's worth being safe as well, and it keeps your stuff safe as well. Because it is a bit top heavy when you've got the drawers loaded up and you have got them open, it can very easily tip. So just be careful about that guys. So right guys, I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, thinking about buying them or somebody who's putting them together and having problems. So right guys, I hope this helps somebody out and uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.